Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I want to show you re-entry in mix effects inside of TriCaster. So mix effects are powerful composition channels that allow you to combine multiple layers of video sources together or embed them into a virtual set. You can also use mix effects to be configured as a secondary video switcher too. Now, TriCaster models TC1, TC1 Pro, and TriCaster 2 Elite allow you to bring mix effects into other mix effects, or even its own mix effect if needed. So, let me show you how it's done, son! Alright, so here we are in the TriCaster 2 Elite interface, and before I show you mix effect re-entry, let me just give you a quick overview of how mix effects work. Okay, so you have your mix effects that live right above your program and preview row here, which you can see labeled ME1 through ME8. Depending on the TriCaster you have, you could have four. It really just, just depends. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to configure my mix effect number one. Currently, I have it set up to just be in a switcher mode. And you can do that by clicking on this box here on the preview window, and you can select from in here the different presets or click a plus button and expand it and you have a whole bunch of different options to choose from. All right, but right now I'm gonna leave it the way it is right now, it's just a switcher. So you'll see here at the very bottom of the screen, this looks pretty much identical to the top here. I even have a T-bar here for uh, transitions along with four keyers, which are upstream keyers on the mix effect side of things. And let me go ahead and bring in my upstream keyer number one to show you that we are playing with mix effect number one. Okay, so uh, on this one here, I just have my, you know, talent. I can switch between my different inputs here uh, and then also do my transitions, etc. So let's just go ahead and leave that the way it is right now. That's mix effect number one. Now it's really uh, powerful if you have uh, multiple screens throughout your facility. You can use uh, the one of the outputs of your TriCaster to feed uh, the, uh, the video signal coming out of the mix effect number uh, one, for example. So you can have a completely different show with using the same uh, cameras, uh, just depending on how you want to run your show. Okay. So that's one way to do this. Let me show you another way to do this is I have on my mix effect number two. Let me bring that up on my program row here. Uh, I have this particular mix effect. Let's open it up the tab. This is set up with an effect that's a double box shot that I've loaded in here. Okay. So you'll see that right now there's just black screens on both of these. So let's start to fill in those uh, boxes. So I can do something simple like, for example, just punch in number one as my source down here at the bottom. And then number three, let's say in my source up here at the top, okay? And I'm gonna bring on my upstream keyer number one here just to designate that I am working with mix effect number two. All right, now here's what we can do now. Now that we have another mix effect here, check this out. I can start to bring in another mix effect into the one that I'm working with, okay? Sounds crazy, it's not. So for example, I wanna bring in the output of my mix effect number one here into that box in the back. So to do that, I'll go to my layer B and I'll select from the input here my mix effect number one and check it out. Boom, there we go. And because I have my lower third up there, it is uh, just corresponding here. So what's cool about this is now if I wanted to do any changes uh, to both mix effects, I don't have to write a complex macro to say, okay, let's do this, this, and this. Uh, I can just simply go back into mix effect number one and go, cool, let's switch to our different shot. Bam, done. Just like that, okay? So uh, whatever you do here will then affect anything that's using that feed down the line. Okay, so now let's move over to our next mix effect, and I'm going to bring in mix effect number three to my program, and mix effect number two to preview, so we can kind of look at these as we start to stack stuff up. And uh, this particular uh, mix effect, I have it set up as a virtual set, so I have uh, a, a section here for somebody on a green screen to be behind a desk, so I'm gonna choose one of my DDR, Hosts here, let's see, DDR4, oh, wrong one, put that over there, DDR4, boom, okay, and then I have control over what's in that screen that is behind him here, all right, so let's zoom in a little bit, make that shot a little tighter, all right, so right now I currently have input number two set up to be what's on that TV, but again, we're doing mix effect re-entry, so let's do that. I'm first going to bring in mix effect number one by itself. There we go, cool. If I go back into mix effect number one and do any changes, that all corresponds, that still looks fine. And now let's go back into mix effect three and choose mix effect number two, which has mix effect number one already in it. All right, 
Cool. So you can see how this is starting to be pretty powerful here. And again, if I do make any changes within mix effect number two, that will do, it'll just correspond uh, accordingly. So it, it's really uh, up to you how you want to arrange all these different shots. All right, let's go even further. Mad science. Uh, before I do that, let me bring up my lower third here. Mix effect number three. So now we know exactly. So right now we have three layers of mix effects. So let's go to number four. Okay. So we're going to mix effect number four, and let me cycle these down the line here. All right, so I have mix effect three on my preview, so we can take a look at it. And then I also have my mix effect four on my program, which is currently set up as a double box. So now I want to bring in a double box of virtual sets, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. I will bring in my... Let's see here. Oh, let me open up the mix effect four tab. All right, so if I wanted to, I could just make it really simple just to have these two speakers speaking like that. Or since they're already on the same show on mix effect number two, let's do that. So I'll say mix effect number two on the left screen. All right. And now I can bring mix effect number three into the right screen. So you can have tons of different layers and stacks to put in here. And this is just for an example, uh, just so I can show you the different layering that's in here. But there's a lot of different things that you can do to play with it. And whatever changes you make on one will affect the other, making it a lot simpler, not having to go through and change things all the way down on every single mix effect when you're in the middle of your show. Make it really simple, just feed one off of the other and you're good to go. So again, this is a really cool feature. I highly recommend checking it out, play around with it, and y'all know me, have some fun. So, Mix Effect Reentry, another powerful tool in the ever expanding toolbox that is TriCaster. For more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. For formal New Tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information about New Tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. And you can also get yourself a free online new tech product demonstration by signing up at newtech.com slash demo. It's pretty awesome. And as always, if you're posting your work with new tech gear on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what y'all are coming up with. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.